Hello everyone. This is December the 27th, 2022. It's 3 p.m. in the afternoon with a temperature of three degrees Celsius. Okay, today I had a request from a, one of my viewers to show them how to get from Hotel Halifax to the live theater, the, the, I slipped my mind for a second there what it's called. The theater anyways, down, down on Argyle. We're gonna walk down there and show them how to get to it. And when I get there, Maybe the name of it will come back to me, what it was called. All right. Hey, give me, cut me some slack here. I'm, I'm retired. I'm allowed to forget. Okay. So, I'm going to begin at the Hotel Halifax. And we'll make our way down to the theater. I want to say it starts with a P, but I don't know. I might be wrong. We'll see, uh, maybe it'll come to me on the way down there. Okay, there is the Hotel Halifax, right here on Barrington Street. You can see the Cogswell Project is right starting right here in this area. Okay, and the ramp is closed over there due to that. So, all right, here we go. Straight down Barrington. It's not that hard to find. As you will discover as we walk along, it's pretty easy to, to find the theater down here. But if you're new here and you haven't been to Halifax much, it might seem a little daunting to you to find your way around downtown to find a certain building. I can remember when I was new here a long time ago. First time when I came to Halifax, I was a teenager. And I had no idea where anything was. Well, I thought this was a big city because I came from a little village in New Brunswick. But now I realize it's, it's a small city. Now, not that hard to get around in. It's busy right now. We've got a lot of... Uh, Buses getting people home from work and people coming to the city because tomorrow's a day off for a lot of people in the holidays. My wife's got tomorrow off, and I know a lot of other people do as well. So that means people will be out tonight. Because they got tomorrow off. All right. I have a couple of ways I could get there. But I think I'll go down Barrington. And then I'll go up to Argyle Street. You probably saw, if anybody came here before, you probably saw signs on Barrington with that stuff. The back end of the theater, the front of it's up on Argo. So that's what we're going to do, explore that tonight. And show, show this person that wants to know where it is, how to get there. And maybe you want to know that too. So we will uh, show anybody who wants to know. I don't know why I can't think of the name, but I, I know it just as well, but I somehow can't pull it out what that theater's called. So when I get up there, I'll say, oh, I knew that. Why didn't I think of that? But for now, I can't think of it.
I think we all have those moments from time to time. You try to think of something and you know very well what it is, but it won't pop in your head. Until you see it, then you go, oh, I knew that. So this is one of those times when I can picture it and we can picture it and, and, and everything, no way where it is, but can't think of it. So I think it starts with a P, but I, I might be wrong. All right. I decided to come right up Duke Street and go down Argyle that way. It's probably less confusing. So, Scotia Square is right over here. And the hotel is on the other side of Scotia Square. And I do know that if you're a guest at the hotel, you can come right through the walkway, right into the food court of Scotia Square. And then you can come out the front doors right there. If you want. Okay, and here's Argyle. I'll try to zoom in on the sign. There we go. Okay, that's it. My zoom isn't working on my gimbal, so I can't do actually zoom it up. But I'll look at it. Okay, down Argyle we go. Well, how was Christmas? Yeah, everybody survived the eating too much turkey and whatever else you might have done in excess. It was a pretty good holiday. It was a good Christmas for us. At our house, we had a great time. And it was really great. It was one of our great Christmases. Well, they all are really, but it was good. All I can say, we had a good, we had a very good Christmas at home. Didn't go anywhere, didn't visit anybody, but it was still nice. Well, I'm really warm tonight. I thought this was going to be cool out here. No, it's, uh, it's quite warm. I got a light that's lighting up in the corner of my phone. I don't know what that means. I'm not sure. I get concerned when I see these things lighting up. What am I? counter is ticking along and it's showing I'm recording. I don't know what that is. I'm just going to double check my, my microphone here make sure it's uh, make sure it's plugged in if I can. I'm trying to try my best to I got to find something to push it on here to make sure it's okay. Whoops. Yeah, apparently, apparently it's uh, plugged in. So, not sure why I got a little light on in the corner there. We'll continue on, on the assumption it's recording. I wonder how long it's gonna take me to think of the name of that theater. I can picture it. And I know I should know it, but I can't think of it. Do you ever get a word that you know real well, and every time you try to think of it, you can't say it? You just, you just, it won't come in your head what that word is. Or someone's name, you know them well. But every time you go to say their name, yeah, hesitate because you can't think of their name. 
Yeah, I get that sometimes on things that I know I know it, but it won't come into my head no matter how hard I try. So this is one of those cases where I I know it, but I can't think of it. There was a little bit of rain earlier, but that seems to have stopped. Thankful for that because I didn't bring my umbrella tonight. I really do have to start carrying my, my umbrella with me. So I won't get caught in the rain. Can't do anything because it's raining. Oh, they still got the patio restaurants and bars and stuff out here. I don't know how they're well they're doing. The ones like this should do all right because they're all covered in, kind of warm in there. I like the picture of the big moose up there. You like that? I think it's made out of wood, but I'm not sure. It could be metal. <laughs> okay. Okay, I see the sign. And now I can see where I was getting the P, but it's the third letter. It's called the Neptune Theater. Why couldn't I think of that? I knew that. I know, it's one of those things. Couldn't pull it out. The Neptune Theater. And all I could think of was the letter P, which is the third letter, like Nep. And that was stuck in my head, but I couldn't get the rest of it. Neptune Theater, right there. Okay, I gotta give you the, the full address of this place. This is on, let's see, I gotta tell you the whole thing. Will you come right here at Roger Square? Roger Square is a big, well known place. And there's one street up from, one street up from Barrington. Barrington's right there. But this right here doesn't have a street side. And I'm not sure, so I'm going to walk down the hill and double check what this street is called right here. Because I don't want to tell you the wrong name. It's another one of these intersections with no, no street signs saying what this one is. Halifax got, got a real problem with that. I mean, I probably know that too, but... Uh, it's hard to pull things out sometimes when you're not sure. Um, the main streets that I'm on all the time are easy, but the side streets, not always able to get them in order, so. And yeah, wouldn't you know it, that sign is gone on that corner. Yeah, this is a real problem with Halifax. There's no, okay, it's Sackville. There's one on this pole, I see the S. I see the whole sign, but I see the S. So there's one on this pole saying Sackville Street. So that's what it is. The corner of Sackville, the corner of Sackville, and Argyle, if my memory serves me correctly. Sackville and Argyle, Neptune Theater. Okay, and from the hotel down to here, it took me about 14 minutes, and that was because I stopped a little bit and 
and then you could probably make it in 12 if you didn't, if you walk faster. So it's not a big walk. Straight up to Argyle from Duke Street, which runs right beside Scotia Square. Take Duke Street up, first left, Argyle. Go down Argyle. You can see the lanes in the street, right there's the tall building of Scotia Square. Walk down here, past Sackville Street, and there it is. The net, whoops. Neptune Theater, there we go. All right, I've uh, fulfilled one promise that I said I would do. I would show the way to Neptune Theater from Hotel Nova Scotia. Hotel Halifax, sorry. From the Hotel Halifax. That's the way to the Neptune Theater. All right, I hope you're happy with that one. I'm gonna just, uh, I don't wanna stop this video this soon because it's only 15 minutes. And I think we can at least do a half an hour or a little better. So, you, my viewers, you deserve a longer video. How did you like that Christmas Village video? That was only eight minutes long, but for those that haven't seen it, I gotta put a little plug in for this. My wife has been collecting parts for her village, you know, a Christmas village. We have these glass houses and churches and stores and, and all this. She's been collecting these probably for the last 10 years, maybe longer. And it takes two tables to set her village up. And they all light up. And there's everything in there, you gotta see it. So look on, look on YouTube and put down my wife's Christmas village. And you will see her beautiful Christmas village. There's everything in that. There's a Walmart store. There's a Salvation Army thrift store. There's different things. There's a train that actually goes and got a headlight. There's a house with a smokestack that smoke's coming out of the chimney. Can you believe that? How they got that to work like that is a secret, I guess, because my wife knows how to do it. But I don't know exactly. But there's smoke coming out of the chimney. Don't think of smoke, I think of steam. But it looked pretty good. To have a village on the table and smoke coming out of the chimney is pretty cool. You gotta see it. Look, look for my wife's Christmas village under Halifax Walker. And you'll see it. It's only eight minutes long, but it'll be worth it. It'll be worth watching. Okay. So that one got posted today, and due to the due to the Christmas holidays, my apologies for not having one up. And but that was Christmas. I took a little bit of time off last year. I was out doing videos on Christmas Eve and. Didn't miss a, a beat getting them up there at Christmas, but I don't know. This year I got, got more involved in the Christmas stuff. And, but anyway, I'm back here now. That's all I can say. But we had, we had a great time home for Christmas. It was wonderful. We didn't go anywhere. We just celebrated at home. And the first thing this morning because this wasn't, when in, in Atlantic Canada, we celebrate Boxing Day the day after Boxing Day. The store's not open on Boxing Day. So our Boxing Day is the second day. Now, our favorite, not December the 27th, that's when the stores are open, not 26th, okay? So we went out today and my wife first spent one of the gift cards she had at Walmart and bought some things. And, but the first thing this morning, you should have seen us. We woke up early. And I said to my wife, I said, do you want to go out? She says, she started to chuckle. 
because she knew where that was leading. And I said, I said, we're on a quest. We're looking for Tim Hortons that's open right now in the morning. And she started laughing. We drove downtown Dartmouth on Portland Street, and there was Tim Hortons. Half a dozen people sitting in there in the drive through all lined up because they weren't open the day before. Everything was closed. We were chomping at the bit for a Tim Hortons. So that's where we went first thing this morning. We went to Tim Hortons and uh, Well, here I am at Spring Garden Road. What do you want to do? You want to go up here? All right, let's go up Spring Garden Road. Maybe I'll stop in at Tim Hortons up here before I go home. That's where I'll end my video, okay? Main thing was I wanted to show how to get to Neptune Theater. Maybe I'll keep that name in my head there for at least an hour since I had so much trouble remembering it. Neptune Theater is live, live theater. Not a movie theater, it's a live theater with plays and good, good acts all the time there. So, check it out sometime, Neptune Theater. On the corner of Argyle and Sackville. Okay. So, for now, we're walking up Spring Garden Road, a well-traveled road by many a videographer and many a beggar and everything in between. Traveled this road a lot. Okay. No snack trucks out here tonight? No. If this were Toronto, the snack trucks would still be out here, but this is Halifax, a little different now. We used to have a lot of snack trucks lined up on Queen Street by City Hall, and they probably still do. Winter and summer, they didn't have to just wait for summer, they were there in the winter too. It's nice to be down here at night sometimes. My wife has to go to work tomorrow. She's off to work tomorrow morning. My son is off, so I got the whole day to myself tomorrow. So I'm definitely coming over here this video is for Wednesday. Oh, sorry. This win. This video is for yeah Wednesday for tomorrow. This video is for tomorrow, so I'm gonna come back over here tomorrow and make Friday's video. And maybe I'll even get two made since I got all day over here. Wow. What am I gonna do? I haven't had all day to myself in Halifax in months because I have to drop my son off at work and pick my wife up. But because my son is not working tomorrow, got one more holiday, my wife can take the car to work herself, which means I don't have to worry about any of that. I got the whole day to myself tomorrow. Isn't that great? So I can make a couple of videos, walk around, drink coffee, Oh, I got I got to have her made tomorrow. There's the library over there, a great place to hang out. If it's cold out and you want a break from the cold, there's a little coffee shop in there. You can get coffee and snacks. And there's public washrooms in there. Nobody will bother you going there. You just go in and use it. Come out. Nobody says, where are you going? Hold on there. and no, you just go ahead. So, it's really good. They got a, a TV in there to watch. They got uh, magazines. I go in there and read the guitar player magazine. That way you don't have to buy it. And other music, things that I might be interested in. 
I've been a fan of Guitar Player Magazine. Give them a plug because they're great. I've been a fan of Guitar Magazine for Guitar Player since I was probably about 20 when I discovered Guitar Player. So it's great to be out making videos again tonight after the, the holidays and everything, not doing much. We just took it easy over the Christmas holidays. Yeah? Ate stuffed turkey, ate all kinds of chocolates and sweet stuff. And I'm not worried though because I'm kind of a skinny guy anyway. So I don't think it'll have a lot of effect on me eating a, a bit of chocolate and sugary things. It won't hurt me to gain a few pounds. Oh no, oh yeah. Oh no, oh yeah. Somebody said, oh no, oh yeah. One of those girls right there. There's nothing like being a teenager, is it? Yeah. I know, I love my teenage years. Sad to say they're long gone. But they were very exciting. When I was a teenager, the Beatles were, were a thing. And... Let's see, the Beatles. Oh, Tom Jones was just coming up there. He was a big star back then. Do you remember the monkeys? Yeah, all that stuff. Yeah, they were all well known. Even Elvis was, was still around when I was a teenager. He died in 1977. Oh, turn on battery saver. This is going to end shortly. So I got to go sit down in Tim Hortons and charge my battery up, okay? So if you like this video, just push that like button there and I'll know you liked it. And, and um, if you're not yet a subscriber, please become a subscriber and help us out here and just keep the channel booming and we'll keep on making you all these great videos. And with that, I just want to say, Thanks to everybody who watches my videos, writes comments. I really appreciate those comments. And with that, you take care, be safe, and we'll see you all on the next video. Bye for now.